the internet has been fluctuating and this is like the third time I'm going to do this again. Anyways, you guys can see my face today and you'll be seeing a whole lot more of my face. Hopefully <laughs> the internet doesn't crash again if not. I'm just going to get rest. But as I was saying, this is like part of my whole plan to give you guys more in-depth kind of tutorial discussions while I also give you guys the breakdown or the little break that I normally do. So this is just like bringing the best of both worlds. So I'll be coming live more frequently for those that want like a detailed step-by-step -step on how I did some things. And I will also still give that general overview for those that just want to know the general workflow of how things were created. So without further ado, let's go into where we're here today from the <clears throat> topic of the live, which you can see is passing the Red Sea blender liquid simulation so one night i was just thinking normally liquid are simulated along a curve but then what if i wanted to like reverse that simulation to make it part instead of attract and then i just worked one or two things and it came out really nice so let's go into blender and let's do something fam Here we are in Blender and it's very easy, we're not deleting our default cube, just go to select the default cube, go to object, um, quick effect and add a quick liquid. We're going to make it, we're going to make it as big as a pool, so just stick with me, move the domain up. Because if you simulate this now, you see the water just falls out. So to make the water to be contained in the domain, you have to make the fluid objects bigger than the domain. Yeah, so scale, shift Z everywhere except the Z axis. And you can also scale this down, move it up. While doing simulations, always remember to apply your scale and on the mark that is command a and then just select scale on windows you should i don't know what it should be but it should be the equivalent to command a on the mark <laughs> anyways <coughs> <coughs> let's make this bigger so let's select both of them scale shift z and uh, this should be quite big enough. Let's reduce the size of the domain in the Z axis. This. Okay. Can we can we leave it like that? Let's apply the scale and see. Okay, it's looking nice. So as you can see the water is just the fluid simulation is just there. It's not moving because the fluid object is bigger than the domain so it's just like you pour water into a container basically that is the simplest definition i could give for that so what i try to do is we are trying to create a path i try to create a path through the middle to divide the water instead of attract the water so let's get into path creation let's add a curve object Please know that all parts have to be curve objects. Yeah. There's a way I do it whereby um there's a way I do it whereby I use a vertex, then I that change it to a curve object. But we're not doing that today. We're just going to select everything, delete it, then we're going to use this draw path option. I'm going to draw a path along the middle. It doesn't have to be nice. A part like this is quite all right so for more um should i say for more depth you can see it's just one single line i always like to add more so from the parts that you already have just select everything shift d i always like to add more parts i don't know if it just makes it i don't know work best all together <laughs> i'm rambling right now <laughs> Anyways, the part has been created. Let's move it up a little bit. And then we have to change this part into a 
<coughs> force field. So to do that, we come into um, <laughs> where did we go? These are the, these are, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. The physics properties. Why selected on the part you have created? You come into the physics properties and then you add a force field. Under the force field shape, change it to curve. If not, it's not really going to follow the curve. It's just going to be. It's going to like simulate along the point. But since we have a curve object that we want it to follow, or we don't want it to come to, so yes. And if we simulate this, let's see what is going on. Yes, it's already working. It's already working, as you guys can see. I hope you guys can see. Yes, let me zoom in. Um, so normally, if you are doing a liquid sim and you wanted the sim to follow this curve part under the strength, I'm going to make the strength like minus something. Let's just say minus one if you make the strength minus one and you simulate you guys see it's going to be attracted so minus value attracts it in the force field setting but if you add value if it's <laughs> i say add value if there's any value that is not minus like from like zero probably or from like one to whatever it's just going to push it away and if we keep increasing it you can see that take effect. You can see the more you increase it, the more it just pushes away. And it, you can see what the liquid is doing here. It just keeps trying to push away. So essentially, that is how this effect is going to be created. For flow, flow, um, flow, convert effect of force into air velocity. This just um. It works well for when you're simulating it to follow the path, but for this, this looking quite all right in my own, from what I can see, it's not looking bad at all. You can see it keeps on pushing it away, keeps on pushing it away. And if you're wondering why, like let's say we're looking at it from this view, right? if I'm wondering why it's not yet at the bottom of the domain, that's just because of the the resolution of the domain. You can see how big it is. The resolution of the domain is at 32. So that it can run semi real time. So because of that, but well, if the resolution is increased, you would see that it will go all the way to the ground and separate. And this is just this is just basically <coughs> how you can create such an effect. I don't want to call this done because I just <laughs> I just started. I'm not even I'm not even gone far. So um, <coughs> I want to do a test whereby I animate this curve object to kind of like swoop in a long time and see if it to create like you know now it's just everything is just opening at once everything is just opening at once so i want to do that to see if it to kind of like open like as it's going let me go from the top view now like as it's going if you can look at my mouse it's just be opening 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 that would be very nice so let's try that add the keyframe here i to add keyframe <laughs> uh bad at tutorials god knows gy <coughs> add another keyframe and let's see if that if that made sense Let's see if that made sense. Oh, that is dope. <laughs> that is dope. <coughs> so essentially, you guys, you guys saw that now. You guys saw that. So why it it, it it doesn't look really nice now is because this is a small body of liquid. Imagine if it was longer, how it would have swooped in. You can see how it have swooped in, and then after some time, it's now normalized and start and start parting, 
that pattern let me increase the let me increase the um, the end point let's say 500 and also in the domain let's increase let's increase the end of the simulation in the domain to 500 frames too so i'll show you guys that after this i want to i want to see that after this move i want to show you guys that as this curved object has taken to a rest then the water just start passing away from it passing away from it essentially creating like imagine if moses raised his hand obviously all the water is not just going to raise at once it's going to go like it's going to open like a like a bible <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense <laughs> but yeah it's going to essentially open like that so let's simulate that and see and see what we get and you may be wondering why <coughs> um it's so low so this is not a beefy system it cannot handle all that um high simulations if not we will sleep here on this live so that is why i'm just keeping it as low as the default which is 30 something but we can still see what is going on and that is basically that's basically what we want right yeah so yeah 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 let's get it let's get it let's get it so as you can see after this initial movement to open the water after the initial movement open the water you see the water just let's see from the front view you can see the water just separates and now it has normalized it has normalized it has normalized so if they if the if there is more resolution you will see it like to go all the way down to the floor so in fact for you guys to see this thing better this of g and y in fact, I'm not even mad. If this stream, if this internet just decides to mess up at this point, I think I've gotten quite far enough. So I'll just leave it the way it is. Um, apply the skill. Now let's see how this goes. Yes, this is giving what I want, but then we have the resolution is not resolutioning. Let's scale it. Let's scale it to add more body. And let's just add more resolution, although that's going to, going to make our system cry. Whoa, 50, that's much. So let's see. Oh, see this effect is giving all these waves crashing and all like that. Oh, this is beautiful. The beautiful chaos. Just imagine this was like a full ocean simulation, bro. This would be crazy. So, I have an idea of even like making this into creating a whole scene where I create like a whole environment and a whole ocean and then Moses kind of raising his hand but any of you watching this video I want to steal that idea you are permitted to steal it I give you the permit I give you the authority to steal such a beautiful idea so yeah I want to just simulate as you can see you can see what I was saying the more the resolution you can see even the edges this see this is what it's taking at the lowest resolution so as you mean this was really small let's say we increase the resolution vision to like 300 then it will be you'll be able to see the ground very well so essentially yes this is what i was showing you guys it comes in just comes in on it's just be parting the way why waves will be crashing everywhere up and down like something 
you see in a scary Bible story. You know, you know like all these Bible stories, you just be like, yeah, they sound fun, but just imagine being there on that day. It's actually something quite scary. Because when the waves start crashing, obviously there's going to also be weather effects and all this kind of stuff. I've rambled enough. Thank you guys for joining me to see to go on this test. And I will bring you a lot of tests too on my life and also things I've discovered. So just essentially getting this webcam and fixing this whole live setup on YouTube is just so that I can bring more, should I say content? Yes, and also that step by step. Because after I've done it, after I've done let's say I'm really working on it. After I've done it, I don't feel the need no, I feel lazy to kind of like um let me just bring my full face back as, as i'm talking as i was saying, i feel lazy quote unquote to kind of like redo what i've done again it just feels like such a drag so this setup is just going to make me like if i just discover something i just come live and just, so it's not like i have schedules and lives are just going to be random so and i'll just be posting them no edit nothing so you guys can just watch them as you like so um without further ado thank you guys for watching subscribe like do what you need for get me to you know what i need to have confidence get me to ten thousand subscribers I, I believe i can get to ten thousand subscribers before the year ends the year ah the year is too long in fact okay let's let's start small goals this this is a uh, march 23rd by the ending of april get me to a thousand subscribers thank you guys until next time <laughs>